Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So just ignore the background noise. My sister's taking a shower and it's like really above our ceiling so you can hear it really, really loudly. But yeah, today is February the 2nd and I believe it's around 12 p.m. So I'm just about to film you guys like a South Sudanese um, playlist, something like that. Um, It's not going well right now because we actually lost the TV remote so I have to use like my cell phone and somehow my volume on my cell phone's not increasing the volume. So the volume of the music in the background is pretty low. So I'm trying to see if I can fix it before I, you know, make any, before I continue, you know, making the playlist and all that stuff. But yeah, um, I have no excuse for why I was gone for two months. I literally just been lazy. I've been, I've been lacking discipline. I was just in a really weird funk. I wasn't really motivated to film or do anything. I just wanted to enjoy my time here with my family, you know. But now I'm back. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to post like at least a week or uh, once a week and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure what dates I'm going to post, but just look out. For that and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and follow me on instagram and my neighbors are, ch are looking at me through their window i will show you guys but you know that's kind of like i don't want to have a stalker you know so yeah but yeah but today all i'm doing today is just going to the grocery store getting some groceries for my family but yeah i just wanted to say hi to you guys i'll see you guys in my next clip and oh yeah happy new year's i hope you're having a good new a good february it's black history month power to my people you know to celebrate this 28 days that we have that's only meant for us so you know what i mean so yeah excuse me bro so we can't let me see it. the app bro found it say cheese right. frederick say hi frederick say hi to youtube you just click hi to youtube let's connect he's saying hi to you guys right there why do you act like it's so hard Okay, I guess they got the remote to work. Is the remote working now? Um, on your phone? No! Can I increase the volume? Hmm? Yeah. No. So now you can just play. Okay, the camera. Increase the volume. I do YouTube. See that? Make your remote on the phone. So I can increase the volume. You have to point it at the TV. Oh. Okay, I guess I can record my video again. What do you want to say to YouTube? What? What do you want to say to YouTube? YouTube. Yeah, what do you want to say to them? Hey guys, good morning. So it's the next day. I think it's about like 8 in the morning. Yeah, 8 or 9 in the morning. And guys, I am so sick. My throat. It's worse than yesterday. So right now, I'm just going to make myself some breakfast. I'm going to have some lemon tea. And I'm going to have some an egg sandwich. And that's about it. I'm still, I'm still have to film the, the dance video for you guys. Or like the Sudanese playlist. Because I was missing some props. Like I got my shisha and all that stuff. So yeah. I was going to like post some like pictures. I was going to take some pictures. And post some like Instagram videos. And, Inst and TikTok. Ouch. My back. <laughs> I was gonna post all that and film like my um, my African um, videos today, but I woke up really sick. And you can tell from my throat that like I'm struggling to even speak. <laughs> so today is just gonna be another chilled, lazy day like yesterday. And yeah, I'm wearing the same jalabia. I'm not going anywhere, so whatever. Like yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna make my breakfast. And yeah, that's about it for today. And yeah, we went to the grocery store yesterday, but I actually left my camera here and my phone because it's not really normal here in like Alberta to like vlog. There's not a lot of like content creators here, unlike like Toronto or like Montreal. Here it's very like conservative, you know, very laid back, like very like they're not up to date with the modern, you know, the modern technology and like social media and stuff. So it's kind of weird, you know, so I'd rather not even any plus. Having my camera app gives me anxiety like it's terrible. So i rather not, you know? So I'm gonna place you guys down here and you guys can watch me cook my eggs, I guess. I don't know. So I just got my breakfast here, the sandwich, the drink, the banana, and I'm watching Martha live. She is so hilarious guys, you guys should definitely follow her. I'll put her channel, where am I? 
Okay. So I'll put her channel information down below, but she's so hilarious. She's like a South Sudanese girl like me, but she's from Australia. And she vlogs and she does like challenges and like just just so relatable. So guys, definitely check her out. She's a really good South Sudanese YouTuber. So yeah, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and uh, hopefully by 10 p.m. 10 a.m. I can start filming. But yeah, see you guys. So guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to prepare your shisha, how to make your shisha. Firstly, you need to have a shisha flavor. So right here I have this brand, it's called Alpha Key, and it's orange mint. Orange mint is actually like the best flavor for shisha. I don't know about you guys, I like mint, I like lemon, but I love, I love orange mint. That's like the best flavor ever. And you're going to need obviously some tin foil, aluminum tin foil, just you know to prepare for your shisha. And you're gonna need obviously charcoal to smoke the shisha flavor from you know the from the hookah and you're gonna need a hookah obviously so i have like this small little one here i think i bought this for like 20 dollars at my local like um tobacco shisha like tobacco cigarette um smoke shop it was like 20 dollars you can buy like the bigger one they're usually like 100 to 200 dollars so it's quite an investment so if you guys don't want to buy like the huge one I say just get the smaller one if it's just you smoking the shisha by yourself. And it does come with holes. I just took it down because like I'm filming and it's very hard to juggle two things at the same time. So I'm gonna put you guys down and you can see how I prepare. I might do step to I might do step by step, but I don't know. Depending how lazy I am. So yeah, let's start. So you want to prepare, you wanna make sure your shisha water it's even. So though so this is how I found out that you can that's how you, so this is how I know that you know the water is enough. So basically you put it like this so the water level should be above the hookah like the hose thingy whatever so it's the water is pretty even so it means that my water is pretty good um so this is the head to put the flavor in i've been smoking it yesterday so you know that's why so that you can see there's still a little bit of good flavor but i'm gonna take it all out i'm gonna get a fresh new flavor because i don't know i just feel like it so I'm going to clean out my shisha and I'll come back to you guys in a few. So this is what it looks like once it's been cleaned out. It just looks like this. I prefer you guys get like the bigger um, head because this one here, it dies really fast. Like I can only put like one charcoal per head. So it's better if you invest in a bigger one. I might just include some pictures and I'll put some links down below where you can get them. You can get them. You can buy some at Amazon. I think they're like 20 maybe $10. I'm not exactly sure. So this is my flavor. It comes like this. Obviously, you can tell that I've been smoking a lot. Well, actually, it's not me. It's my brother, but, you know. Are you Sudanese if you don't smoke shisha? Like, come on. So this is what it looks like. I'm just going to... Let me just adjust it a little bit for you guys so you guys can see the full thing. <laughs> I'm not, like, a pro. I just... I'm, like, amateur. I'm, like... I learned from my friends throughout the years, but I'm not that great. I'm just showing you guys what I know that works for me. So this is a bit too much um, flavor because like my head is pretty small, so I don't want it to like, you know, burn out that fast. Because usually, like one of my friends, he basically likes, he basically like, um, I don't know how you could describe. It. He like, he like does this, and he like, I don't know how do you explain it in English or even in Tomanjang. I don't know how to speak Tomanjang. So I'm not even gonna try. So it should look like this. There should be a middle. There should be a hole in the middle so the flavor so you're able to so when you smoke the hookah, the flavor is able to come out is able to like come out from the hole, like the three holes or the four holes that are in here. So it should look like this. So I'm gonna grab my tin foil. And oh yeah, you sh the best way to poke the holes is to use um what is it called? Those pins you, you pin your uh, papers with. I don't know what it's called. Oh my god. Am I even I'm forgetting all these English words, but you know what I'm talking about. So if you don't have that pin, I just use a, my toothpick. So a toothpick will help you a lot. So you should do your. So it should look like this. Okay, it's pretty simple. Just, just um, I don't know how to even describe it. Honest to God. Okay, so I have a toothpick, and you basically just want to make like. You don't want the holes to be too big, cause then it will die really fast. So you want them to be like. Um, let me just see if I can do it with this toothpick. Like this. Then just go around in a circle or whatever way you want to do it. Me, I don't really care for it. I just do whatever I want. 
should look like this. Like for me, I told you I'm just an amateur. I just do what works for me best. I've been smoking shisha for like a long time. So if you're a new beginner or someone that doesn't really smoke it that often, maybe my tutorial is not the best video for you. But I'll send you, I'll, I'll link down below some really, really good video instructions on how to make it properly from the professionals. You know, so it should look like this. I think that's enough holes for me. Yeah, that's good. And then you want to go and put your charcoal on the stove. Put it on put it on medium or low heat. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it on I put it low, like maybe a three. And watch the magic happen. And be careful you're not close to the stove when you're lighting it up because it does sparkle, which you're gonna see in a few minutes. So just be safe and cautious that you know you don't want to burn your whole house down. So just be careful. Okay, I guess three is not gonna work. I'll just increase the temperature. And it's easier if you have like a stove that doesn't have like um if you have a, if you have the other stove that has like the rails, it's way easier to light up the charcoal that way because it's actually like you know. This one is takes forever because it's like a a flat top stove. What's going on? Why is it taking years? Okay. See, when you try to show them something on camera, it doesn't work. But then when you're like just doing it by yourself for no reason, it's like, oh my god. Come on, what's taking forever? I don't have all. There you go. So see, that's what it's supposed to look like. And you will know the charcoal, it's been fully light lit up when it turns, when the black parts turn like uh, red, like you can see right here. Let me zoom in for you guys, like right here. You can see that, that red part, right? That's how you know your charcoal is good to go. So yeah. And then you're gonna put it on the shisha and, and that's about it. And I'll show you guys how I smoke it. So look forward to that. This is what it should look like. The holes are here, just like the small little one. And I guess you guys can watch me smoke it or something, I don't know. <laughs> so I forgot to mention that when you smoke shisha, make sure you're smoking it on a full stomach because like for me personally, when I don't eat enough, like my, I get like the worst stuff. I get like the worst stomach ache. Like when I first tried it out, like when I was like 17, like whoa. I went to like the shisha spot with my friends after school and like guys, I was on an empty stomach and I smoked it and like yo, the whole the whole evening until like I went to sleep. My stomach was like in the worst condition ever. Like it was bad. So make sure that you're smoking it with a full stomach because like you just need to and you need to have a, a beverage on your side. Maybe it can be wa like water, like a drink or something. Like I usually just drink water or lemon tea. So yeah, make sure you have a liquid next to you so when you're smoking it you're able to st um, stay re rehydrated because it's it actually is it's to it's tobacco right so i have the real tobacco there's they have herbal they have other fla other tobacco something i don't know but like tobacco is the best flavor but it's up to your preference if you want to do herbal or not but i usually do herb tobacco so yeah let me just demonstrate to you guys what and how it's supposed to sound like so when you first start out smoking it's supposed you're supposed to basically build up the tobacco like the flavor so at, at the beginning it's gonna be low I just I that's why I don't like I hate being the person that starts the shisha I just don't I, I like to be the person that smokes it when it's fully 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 foamed so like when you have a lot of smoke and everything that's like my favorite thing to smoke but right now i'm just gonna start it up because i'm the only one smoking right now my brother is sleeping because it's only like the morning time so yeah so when you're smoking it it should look like this Yeah. 
hey guys so today is the next well it's the next couple of days so today is saturday it's uh, february the 7th or 6th so i just been feel i literally just been like filming some videos for instagram and i took some really cute pictures i hope you guys follow me during i hope you guys follow me on my instagram account but yeah like look at this eye look like thank you so much amber for like this eye look like yes she's subscribed to her channel she's also a south sudanese youtuber she does like makeup and skincare and she's from um a, she's from canada as well like me but guys I've been looking for a very, 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 like, sweet, feminine um, perfume. Like, a real perfume. So, I'm like, let me invest. Let me spend my coins on some luxurious... Is it luxury? I think it's luxury. Let me spend some money on some luxury, expensive perfume so I can smell good. And I can smell good all day. So, I picked up this perfume here. It's perfect. Can I, can I show? So, it's perfect... Perfect by Marc Jacobs and guys, oh my god, like this thing, this perfume cost me like almost a hundred, it cost me like a hundred dollars, like a hundred and ten dollars. So I got this from the shop, it's Drug Mart. It's just like a corner, it's just like a store in uh, Canada. So this is what it looks like. The bottle is so cute guys, like look, look. And obviously I already used it because like I love, I love this scent. It smells so freaking good. It's literally just like a it's sweet and it's girly and very feminine just like me so but the thing is about this perfume is that it doesn't last that long like literally lasts like 12 maybe i say 30 minutes max and that's it so i'm like why am i spending so much money on this perfume for it not to last that long you know so now i'm on a lookout for um a better one um like i heard the valentino it's really, really good, and the Dior is really, really strong. But they're, like, in the 200s, like, for the coins. But I'm willing to spend the $200 if it means I can smell good. I want to walk into a place, into a building, and they can memorize me by that scent. I want a signature scent for myself. So I think I'm going to go next week to shop to, like, a Sephora. Yeah, or, like, a perfume shop and try to see if I like those two scents. But... Some a lot of you, a lot of people are saying that that scent those two scents are really good so fingers crossed guys that it does um that it does um last all day because I don't want to spend two hundred dollars just for it to last me thirty minutes like this one but this one here is it's a good good spray for like if you're going to bed or you're gonna see somebody like for a quick like meetup or something this is good for like a for like a daytime scent it's not really like an all day or like a nighttime scent but it it is. It is worth your money to me, honestly. I I love the way it smells. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how you're supposed to um, spray this perfume, or like you, like there's an instruction and everything. But I'm just gonna show you guys like how and what I do to spray, or what I do and how I spray my perfume. Yeah, let me just place you guys down for a minute. And excuse the messy room because like I have no excuse. But yeah. Okay, so you're supposed to. Spray in the back of your neck, back on, on your head, like your hair, on your wrist. And this is to not spray on your clothes, but I do it anyways. And that's about it. And you can also spray on your inner elbow, like this part here. So you want that extra smell. And guys, oh God, you guys should go and just go, just go to those to your local Sephora or perfume shop. And just smell this. It smells so, so good. I wish it lasted longer than what it's supposed to. But guys, it is such a nice, sexy, innocent, feminine smell. Like, oh my God. I can't wait till outside is open so I can, you know, walk down. Like I was saying that that was a really, really, like a really good scent. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video or this, yeah, this vlog. Um, like I was saying that I need, I need my phone. What? I need my phone. Oh. Sorry, excuse that. But I was saying that like yeah, that scent is really good. So I'm pretty excited, but it just doesn't last long. But I'm gonna keep it in my collection for sure. But yeah, I, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I don't really, I'm not really doing much this weekend. Like I was supposed to go to like a birth, like a birthday party, like this Congolese person's birthday party. But I'm still sick and I don't want to infect anybody, so I'm gonna stay my ass home. Like the responsible adult that I am, you know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you guys in my next one. And I'm guys, I'm back for good. 
I can't wait to to uh, produce more content for you guys. I can't wait for my channel to grow. I can't wait for you guys to grow with me and all that jazz. But yeah, I'm back and I'm better. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is going to be like, this is going to be this vlog. So next week. Anyways, bye guys.